hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna show you how i've been spraying my orchids for insects and pests that's been hiding in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my gloves on first because even though these are non-toxic it's still this is neem oil which i got from lowe's that and then this is the soap because here i have a one gallon sprayer the battery has been charged i just put it in here and that goes in here and then you just lock it in and this goes in here and uh, I'm, let me mix my this is the soap that i got Dr. Wood peppermint castile soap. The reason I got this is because um, neem oil smells bad. So the reason I have the soap is because it smells like peppermint. And I've been using uh, dishwasher soap and that's got like a degreaser in it. And even though we use it for a plate, we wash them off. And in the case of the plants, it's gonna stick to the leaves. So I don't know how good it is. So I'm gonna use this. Um, I do not have the exact measurements. I just eyeball it. This one comes with this own little pump, but I just pour it in. And for this is, guys, I put hot water in here just to let the, and um, I don't know, hot water to mix the soap better, I guess. So I'm just putting like two to three tablespoons of this, no exact measurements, just for that um, I want the soap and the neem, so have the neem oil mix better. And I'm gonna put some of the neem oil. It's like a quarter teaspoon, half a, I'm not sure exactly what the measurements, but I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just gonna put one whole spoon. maybe a little bit more these are, uh, are not that harmful so so as you all know oil does not mix oil and water don't mix so that's what the soap is for to help break it down so that's that and um, let me put on my gloves so that uh, these things don't stick to my hand just give it a good stir, a good stir, and I'm gonna stir it for a while. I don't want it to. So, and then I'm gonna come back after I stir it. I think the soap should help um, get the neem oil to mix well. So I'm guessing this should do. take off my glass so I can help put the so this one when you're putting it back in it's hard to see but over here is an unlock sign and here is a lock sign so and over here see the arrow you match it to where it says unlock you match it and you turn it make sure it let me take off my glass it's gonna See that click noise? That's when you know it's tightly sealed. So after that, you get the plant that's got the problems and then you gotta spray it down good. Now, I have this plant already here. If you see these little things in the tip. And sometimes when the plants sh sh start showing some distress or signs of um, uh, going downhill, there's something obviously wrong. Could be bugs eating them, chewing them, enjoying off of these little plants that they're having a feast. So I just pulled this out because it was stuck in the back and I didn't really notice this. But if you look at it, I'm not sure if the camera could see it closely, but see all these little, little 
bumpy little things over there. Those are little bugs. And I have to spray them good. And they also go under the leaves. So watch out. So when you're spraying, now you don't just spray the top of the plant. You also spray the bottom. So this is what I'm going to do. This is a... Just going to... So now I have this all set and ready to go. There's the button on this side. The screen button is to start it. See the green light comes on. All you do is now spray this. You can adjust the nozzle. You want it like a spray or you want it like a, like a stream. You can adjust it to whatever you want. So just spray this thing good. And I was not going to kill this thing on contact. So what I also like to do is sometimes I add alcohol, rubbing alcohol. So let me go back in and mix that too. So again, I have to unlock it. I'm just going to pour some in there. No measurements, actually like a half a cup or so. And I'll just give it a good stir. This thing should help mix it. Put it back in. Tighten it. Make sure you close this up, put it away. And now the battery, make sure it's sealed. Close, give it a good stir, make sure everything mixes. And back to business. Turn this back on and spray right away. I like to put a little bit of the um, alcohol because it uh, helps kill these bugs like pretty much on contact but I don't want to put too much of it so what you do you're going to do is you're going to spray the plant top and bottom everywhere left right up bottom whatever you want to call it pretty much saying under the leaves don't miss any spot anywhere because you don't know where they could be hiding pull up any of these little See these little sheets? They're supposed to be protecting the plants when they're growing, when they're just seedling. I mean, when they're just forming new growth. But once the new growth is a little bit mature and these things dry out, try to pull them out because that helps the pest to go and hide in there. So that's also going to get a good spray. So this one is done. Make sure every single leaf is sprayed. I'm going to move that to the side. Let it drip. Now I'm going to get this one. See, this plant has not only got See? I'm not sure if you can see it. See these little white things over here? These little dots right here? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. I'm going to pull out all this dried up sheet because the they plant it's um, gonna only harbor the pests and not to go and hide in there. So I'm gonna pull them out. I thought this had more problems than what I see in here. Yeah, see? Over here. See these little white things? I don't like that. They are not good. And if, it, if I turn this one around, see this white things that you see over here? I want I, I want to get rid of that. Uh, that's not, um, see if you, if you put your hand and you try to scrape it, it's coming off. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. I want it out. And um, see all these sheets. I'm going to pull them out. 
and this one the new root growth hat so I'm gonna spray this with uh, hydrogen peroxide before you cut it and um, see this new growth it's mushy up from this part on but over here it's still firm so it rotted over here so I'm just gonna go there and cut it because if you look over here you see the new growth is starting it's putting out its new roots so the rot happened over here and it didn't spread so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the spot and just cut it it is still brown so I'm gonna go a little bit further down just to make sure the rot doesn't go down so here it's still a little green but if I go any further down it's gonna go into the new growth so I think that should do and since I cut that area off I'm gonna spray with hydrogen peroxide and let it do its fizzling and I don't like what is happening over here see these leaves They've got little blisters like on them. I don't know if it's ed edema or whatever they call it. But, and then see, they have this white stuff hiding in there. I'm not sure the camera is able to pick up, but see? This white stuff in there. I want to get them all out too. And all these and again see the the plant has i think i showed it to you before this white stuff i want to get them all out and this part of the plant it doesn't really need it and i'm going to use the scissors spooners and just cut it right i can cut it up to here because this is the oldest plant part of the plant and it's no longer the rest of the plant doesn't need this side of the plant for support or so we're just going to give it a good sharp cut and if it comes now i can show you better what i'm talking about see this white stuff here white stuff and all these roots these old roots and everything They're, this older part of the plant is just disease damaged and that's all these blisters on the leaves like i said i don't know if it's edema edema is nothing but um the plant absorbing water and it stores in its leaves and it just bubbles up it's not able to use it properly oh, so this one off it goes into the garbage now this area where i cut it i'm going to spray it with hydrogen peroxide and let it do its thing and this area where i already cut it I already cut this area before right here and the hydrogen peroxide is already done fizzling so I'm gonna put some oh before I do that let me spray the rest of the plant with this um, bug spray that I made neem and oil now this is not where I usually spray it I spray it from where it is sitting on the rack but because I wanted to show it to you, I have to do it from here. And all over under the leaves. In my case, it's not so much in this part, not so much on the leaves. Not so much on the leaves, but um, more on the stems. I think I got them all. Now, this one spray won't help kill all these bugs. I'll have to come back again tomorrow and keep spraying them. Uh, one spray, like I said, will not help keep these bugs off of the plant. So, that one is all sprayed. Now, where I put the made the cut, I'm gonna have to put cinnamon on it, 
so let me get the cinnamon it's a cinnamon it's a powder cinnamon um i get this from Co uh, costco which is the name kirkland and this whole thing cost me like three dollars and change it's pretty cheap so you take some in and you just put it on the cut area just for the cut area so it'll heat dry up that area and not so much on the roots or any part of the plant because it's pretty much as a um, helps the area where it's cut to dry up so if you put it in another area if it falls on the root you know what it'll do is it'll dry up that area so just put some cinnamon now let it dry now this plant has been completely sprayed with the pesticide the bark media is still firm it's not as hard to break so what I can do is once this pesticide works and the bugs and all are taken care of I'm going to come back and um, and once this new growth gets a little bit bigger I'm going to try and repot it because you see everything is hanging out of the pot um they can hang in there they can survive but the only thing is these aerial roots they need moisture and in my area if it's in because like indoors right now i'm growing them indoors in in the winter i have to bring these plants in and grow them indoors because i have um, temperatures to go very low very cold we have snow and uh, so starting end of october even by beginning of october the temperatures really go down and these are tropical plants they do not take the cold weather too much um so the catalyst especially don't like it to be too cold so i brought them in and they are sitting inside under led lights so i'll have to water it a couple more times so yeah so i was talking about for repotting so once these root new growths get a little bit bigger i'm going to repot this into a slightly bigger pot or even divide it i haven't decided what i want to do so once the new growth starts i'm going to decide what i want to do with this one so this one right now has been all sprayed with the pesticide and uh, see right now they're sitting on the firmly well, once these pesticide works they once you rub it off they should come off easily so let's sit and wait so now it's the waiting game a couple of other places that I want to show you where these things could be hiding is when the plant gets a little weak. Like I said, I always look to see what's going on. And when I, this was a new, this was a new growth and it was not opening. So I split it open and see where it's hiding. That's a lot. That is a lot. I really need to get it sprayed. So another place you want to check is the flower buds. See? See these flower buds? The young and tender and juicy. So these are like, uh, like uh, what do you say, the, like mealy bugs and all. Go right at them and attack them. See the bottom of the buds? So... These are all some of the places that you have to watch out to make sure that you don't just water the plants. For, I mean, spray the plants. You have to spray the whole um, plant top to bottom, underneath the leaves, on the buds. Because like I said, I was spraying it from the side because it's in my rack. And I didn't, like, I didn't even see this till I pulled it out. So watch out for these little on your plants so here are some other places that you can find these mealy bugs hiding see like if you see in this bud right here this white stuff this one right here that is mealy bug so I have to spray it what I'm gonna do is I have a Q-tip and I'm going to take rubbing alcohol 
and I'm gonna pour it in here. So this one, I'm just gonna dip the Q-tip into that rubbing alcohol and um, go over this mealy bug. It will kill him on contact. If you see, it'll turn brown. Now this is a bud and I do not want to spray uh, uh, rubbing alcohol right on it because that probably will damage the buds. So just wherever you see the mealy bugs, just see, just go over it and clean it up. That should take care of it over here. Make sure you go through the whole thing that you don't mess up. This is one issue that I have when the new growth and new buds form. They somehow like find a way to get in there. And so I'm always trying to stay. And see in the new growth in here, there's another spot. So that's one easy way to get rid of it. But the thing is you have to keep on top of it, make sure it doesn't come back. So that one is done. Let's see, there's one missing underneath there. Yeah. The easy thing is I could spray it with uh, rubbing alcohol, but this is the flowers, and I, like I said, I don't want to spray on the flowers. I don't know if it'll damage them. So just go through everything, and that should take care of that. Now, another spot that I have is... Because uh, the plant, like I said, was sitting on the rack and I was spraying it from this side and I didn't turn it around. See? On this side. See, underneath the leaves. Over here. over here and right over here see how it's like formed like a big colony like a clump so what i'm going to do is same principle but because I, it's always going over with the q-tip take a cotton swab like one of those pour alcohol rubbing alcohol on it and just wipe it clean and that should get rid of it Or, like I said, you could spray it. You can also wipe it down. And it's got a bud here, so I'm just gonna just go over gently. See, in this little... crease over there, that's another spot where they could go and hide. And um, more on this side. Just give it a good clean and then keep make sure you keep oh this got two buds there's one on the other side see i didn't even see it and there's another spike forming on the side so it's got two spikes so be careful that these spikes creep up on you if you don't see them and suddenly one day you look they got big it's fun but i would like to keep watching it okay so these two spikes i'm happy so just wipe it down, clean it down properly. You might have to go over it one more time, like um, in a day or two, make sure that you didn't miss anything. And ultimately make sure you keep spraying it with that solution. through each and every leaf just okay and then also this like the tip that's where the new growth usually that's where the things go and usually hide so give it a good wipe down and stay on top of it see I missed this leaf it's hiding underneath it. So it's good for now, I think. 
I don't see anything. I think I got them all. Last year, this ingrecum. Oh, this is not a thing. It's just the lint from this got stuck over there. So, last year, I had a bud blast on this plant, so I want to make sure that I'm careful this year. So I don't know what caused it. So I want to make sure that the alcohol that I put on it dries out. I'm going to put it in front of a fan, and um, that way. The dries up quick. I'll make sure one more time that everything is. See, this is. I'm gonna put this and go through in here. It's in this pot. See how it's getting dirty. I don't know if that's good or bad. See, but these plants in nature, all the debris comes and collects in there. And there's nature, mother nature, it, I don't know how the plant cleans itself up, but since I have it in my care, or since we grow indoors, we just spoke, take, care that, take care of them. So. so we'll see. So maybe not tomorrow, maybe one couple more days later i'm gonna spray it and then after spraying i'm gonna repot it so thank you everybody for watching see you soon bye